Hello, hello, it's me again, Hawk, for I am here with another build. And this build is special because it's pretty much useless except for one thing. This is my EO Slayer. So chapter 3 of the raid, you want to kill EO. You want to get rid of her real quick. This is the build I use in the video. Uh, so really, this is very circumstantial. You're not going to use this for anything else. You're not going to use it for survival. You're not going I mean, you could, but it's not going to do much for you. Um... So this is a, a pro parrying class. You can equip all this gear on anybody else and it'll work. It just works really well for Samurai because of his technique and I'll go into that later. So let's get into this. So, Master Katana. Why? Because I can. So, <laughs> there's really no specific reason. You could use a Water Katana if you want. I like this because uh, it's a legendary. I could guarantee 12% on it because every legendary gets max percentage of whatever you roll and i wanted melee damage perfect parry window and water master and i'll tell you why melee damage to mow down eo once you're in there with her you do more damage perfect parry window because she does a lot of red attacks unblockables and a lot of parrying attacks so the white or blue glinty ones which if you're able to parry them you can take down her staggered bar pretty damn fast uh so the mo the higher your perfect parry window is the easier it is to parry the easier it's like a cheat code basically so my goal on this build is just to have the most perfect parry i can so you have it here melee perfect parry window water master water master because in this you're not trying to you're not going to try and kill all the dudes no you're, you're concentrated on eo so while you're in there you can't use Way of the Flame. You can't use all your ghost weapons. So what better than Water Master? Because I will be using the Water Stance. And so each hit consecutively will get even stronger. As long as you're using the Heavy Attack sequence. Next, the bow. Nothing to say here. Uh, it's just a regular bow. That's it. Uh, over here. So you could use... There are other charms that have Perfect Parry Window. But... I happen to have it on my melee charm. I just rerolled the last perk for leeching parry because if I'm parrying all the time, then I want to heal. Because when you're in there, nobody can heal you unless you have a Ronin. But you don't need to have a Ronin in the third chapter. It's easier, but you don't need to. Um, so perfect parry window, stagger damage. Because why? Well, what are we doing? We're taking down her stagger bar. So the more staggering damage you can do, so the more damage you do once she is staggered, the better it is. So, perfect parry window, staggered damage, leeching parry for that heal. And it heals quite a lot to be... I'm surprised. I, I didn't even know it healed that much. Uh, and, well, it, it, it fills up your resolve faster, but you don't notice while you're in there. Only once you get out. Uh, and, yay, dirt throw. Nobody really uses this. I don't mind it. But here, it has a perfect, perfect, perfect uh, ability, which is perfect parry window. Whee! More of it. Uh, and damage increase. Well, because it's a ghost weapon. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, Rancid is good against the Onis that you'll be fighting outside of EO. Uh, damage increase in this case has no effect whatsoever. So, technically, I might want to change that for uh, cooldown reduction on kill. That is something I would do. And you know what? I might reroll that eventually. Uh, perfect parry window. I was very lucky to get the max. 12%. I'm going to keep that. Next up, look at that. Another legendary. Why? Because you have two drums on either side. And if you don't have a Ronin, well, you kind of need a way to heal. And you need, well, in my opinion, you need smoke for the strategy. Which, if you look at my video, you'll see what the strategy is. Uh, so you want that cooldown reduction, and you want the cooldown on kill, so that you can get even faster, and then lucky. So you get even more. You might get it again, right after. And so yeah, let's get into the techniques. Okay. So you got Spirit Pull, because you got to heal. You want to stay alive. You have the extra health, because when you're in there with Eo, she can mow you down. If she gets that th three hit combo with the unblockable, and you're not able to perfect dodge or, or dodge period, well, you're going to hurt real bad. So, put that extra health. You can definitely put 10% melee damage increase. That means you'll mow down her health a lot faster. But I, I like the safety net. 
That's what I like. Here, here's the magical thing about Samurai. Increase parry and dodge window when at low health. Isn't that magical? So not only do I have almost 36% uh, increased parry window, but I also have even more when I'm low health, which will happen with EO. So fantastic. I'll be healing because of my perfect parry healing. And then the perfect... Anyways, a lot of perfect parry. That's all I'm getting. And I mean... The whole point of the third chapter is to kill EO. You're not trying to mow down... Like, who cares? You don't kill the other mobs. Like, I mean, you do, but not really. So, why not put an extra legendary? So I can heal myself while I disappear with my smoke. So, yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, just, uh, you can ask them below. And please, 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 leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be posting more stuff. So, yeah. Bye!